Hi there. Have you ever been to the USA? No, not yet. But I'd love to visit someday. You'll enjoy it. There are some must try dishes for tourists. Really? Like what? One classic is the American hamburger. It's juicy and flavorful. Oh, I've heard about that. Where's the best place to get one? You'll find great burgers in many places, from diners to gourmet restaurants. I'll definitely give it a try then. What else do you recommend? Barbecue is a must. In the USA, each region has its barbecue style. That sounds intriguing. What are the popular types? You've got Texas style with beef, Memphis style with pork ribs, and more. I love trying different flavors. What about seafood? The USA has fantastic seafood. You can't miss the New England clam chowder. Clam chowder sounds interesting. Is it like a soup? Yes, it's a creamy soup with clams, potatoes, onions, and bacon. Mmm, that combination sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. You'll also find shrimp and lobster dishes in coastal areas. Seafood by the coast must be fresh and tasty. I'm excited. When in the southern states, don't miss trying fried chicken. I've heard about southern fried chicken. It's crispy, right? Yes, it's usually seasoned with a special blend of spices. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Haha! Ha. There's more to explore. Have you heard of Tex-Mex cuisine? I have, but I'm not entirely sure what it includes. It's a fusion of Texan and Mexican flavors, like nachos and tacos. That sounds like a flavorful combination. I'll keep an eye out for it. And speaking of Mexican, you must try authentic Mexican food too. Absolutely. Tacos, burritos, and guacamole, right? Yes, those are some of the classics. And don't forget the pizza. Pizza? I thought that was from Italy. It is, but the USA has its own pizza style with various toppings. That's interesting. I'll compare it to the Italian version. And if you have a sweet tooth, try American apple pie. I've heard about apple pie. Is it served with ice cream? Yes, that's a popular combination. The warm pie and cold ice cream go well together. I can imagine the delicious contrast of flavors and textures. You'll find diverse cuisines in the USA due to its multicultural population. That's one of the things I look forward to. Trying food from different cultures. It's a culinary adventure. Have you ever had soul food? No, I'm not familiar with soul food. What is it? Soul food is a traditional African-American cuisine, like fried chicken, collard greens, and cornbread. Sounds comforting and hearty. I'll make sure to try it too. Great! And if you're in Louisiana, have some gumbo and jambalaya. I've heard those names before. Are they spicy dishes? Yes, they can have a nice kick of spices. Perfect for flavor lovers. I'm up for a flavorful experience. What about desserts? Key lime pie from Florida is a refreshing and tangy treat. 
I love lime flavors. I'll add it to my dessert list. And if you're in the West, try some delicious cheesecake. Cheesecake is always a winner. So rich and creamy. What drinks do you often have with your dinner? It depends. Usually, I prefer water, but sometimes I like a glass of red wine. Oh, nice choice. I usually have some soda or juice with my dinner. That sounds good too. Do you drink coffee after dinner? No, I try to avoid caffeine in the evenings. I prefer herbal tea instead. Herbal tea is a great option. I enjoy a cup of chamomile before bedtime. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties. I might try that someday. You should. It's soothing. So, do you have any favorite fruit juices? Yes, I like orange and apple juices. They're refreshing and go well with meals. True, apple juice pairs nicely with chicken or pork dishes. It's a tasty combo. Absolutely. And orange juice complements breakfast dishes quite well. Right, it's a classic choice for mornings. What about soft drinks? Do you like them? I do, but I don't drink them too often. They can be quite sugary and not very healthy. I agree. They're okay occasionally, but water is a better daily choice. Exactly. Water is essential, and it has no calories, which is a bonus. Besides, it keeps you hydrated and supports your overall well-being. That's true. So, do you enjoy any non-alcoholic cocktails with dinner? Yes, sometimes I like mocktails. Virgin mojitos and piña coladas are my favorites. Those sound delicious. I'll have to give them a try sometime. You definitely should. They're refreshing and perfect for social gatherings. Speaking of social gatherings, do you ever drink beer with your dinner? Occasionally, I enjoy a cold beer with pizza or barbecue. Beer can be a nice treat, especially during summer barbecues. Indeed. But it's essential to drink responsibly and not overindulge. Absolutely, moderation is key. What about hot beverages like hot chocolate? Hot chocolate is delightful, especially on chilly evenings or during the holidays. I agree, it's like a comforting hug in a mug. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a cute way to put it. Do you like iced tea? Yes, iced tea is quite refreshing, especially in hot weather. Some people add lemon or mint to enhance the flavor. Oh, I should try that next time. It sounds like a great idea. It adds a nice twist to the taste. Now, what about energy drinks? I try to avoid them. They have lots of sugar and caffeine. Right, they might give you a temporary boost but can be harmful in the long run. Exactly. Natural energy from a good night's sleep and a balanced diet is better. Spot on. Proper rest and nutrition are essential for our well-being. Agreed. It's essential to listen to our bodies and give them what they need. Absolutely. So, do you have any favorite beverages from other cultures? I really enjoy chai tea from India and matcha tea from Japan. Chai and matcha have unique flavors and a rich cultural history.
Yes, that's what makes them special. How about you? I love Mexican horchata and Thai iced tea. Horchata is so delicious. It has a lovely cinnamon flavor. And Thai iced tea is a perfect balance of sweet and creamy. Sounds wonderful. I'll have to try those when I get the chance. You won't be disappointed. Exploring new beverages is always fun. I agree, it's a great way to learn about different cultures too. What's your favorite fruit? Oh, tough question. I'd say mango. It's so juicy and flavorful. Mangoes are delicious. They're a tropical delight. Absolutely. What about you? What's your favorite fruit? I adore strawberries. They're sweet, juicy, and versatile. Strawberries are a classic choice. They go well with so many things. Yes, you can enjoy them on their own or use them in desserts. That's true. Do you have any favorite strawberry desserts? Oh, definitely. Strawberry shortcake is my ultimate favorite. Yum. The combination of strawberries, cake, and whipped cream is divine. It's like a burst of happiness in every bite. So, how do you eat mangoes? I usually peel them and slice the flesh off the pit. That's a neat way to enjoy them. Mangoes can be quite messy. Haha, <laughs> yes, but it's worth it for that delicious taste. I agree. I like to make mango smoothies or add them to salads. Mango smoothies are so refreshing, especially on a hot day. They are. So, what other fruits do you enjoy? I like pineapples too. They're tangy and great in fruit salads. Pineapples have a unique tropical flavor. They remind me of vacations. Yes, they're like a taste of paradise. How about you? I also like blueberries. They're packed with antioxidants and taste amazing. Blueberries are superfood heroes. You can snack on them anytime. That's true, and they're low in calories too. Win-win. Absolutely. Have you tried any exotic fruits? Yes, I love dragon fruit. It's vibrant and has a mild, refreshing taste. Dragon fruit is visually stunning, and it's fun to eat. Agreed. It's like nature's work of art. Any other exotic fruits? I enjoy lychee. They're sweet and aromatic, a real treat. Lychee is delightful, and they're also good for your skin. Wow, I didn't know that. I'll eat more of them now. Nature has so many wonders to offer. How about watermelon? Watermelon is perfect in the summer. It's hydrating and juicy. Yes, it's like a natural thirst quencher. And it's great for picnics. Exactly. So, do you like fruits in your desserts too? Oh, yes. Fruit tarts, fruit salads, and fruit pies are all delicious. Fruit tarts are lovely. The combination of pastry and fruits is heavenly. I couldn't agree more. What's your favorite fruit dessert? I love apple pie. The warm, spiced apples with a flaky crust are divine. 
Apple pie is a classic comfort food. It reminds me of home. It's a nostalgic treat for many. So, do you eat fruits daily? I try to. They're a healthy snack, and they satisfy my sweet tooth. That's a smart choice. Healthy snacking keeps you energized. Absolutely. And fruits provide essential vitamins and minerals. They're a natural source of goodness. Do you ever make fruit preserves? Sometimes I do. It's a great way to enjoy fruits out of season. Homemade preserves taste so much better than store-bought ones. Yes, you can customize the flavors and adjust the sweetness. That's the beauty of homemade goodies. What about fruit juices? I prefer fresh fruit juices without added sugars or preservatives. Natural juices are healthier. Do you have a favorite juice? I like freshly squeezed orange juice. It's a breakfast classic. Orange juice is a great way to start the day. It's refreshing. And it's packed with vitamin C. So, what's your take on bananas? Bananas are fantastic. They're a quick, on-the-go snack. Yes, they come in their own biodegradable packaging, the peel. That's true. They're nature's convenience food. Have you ever tried any diets? Yes, I've tried a few. The keto diet, intermittent fasting, and vegetarianism. Oh, interesting choices. How was your experience with the keto diet? It was challenging at first because of the low-carb restriction, but I felt more energized after a while. The keto diet aims to put your body into ketosis, right? Yes, it switches your body's primary fuel source from carbs to fats. And that's supposed to help with weight loss. That's one of the main goals. But it's not suitable for everyone. True. It requires careful planning and monitoring. What about you? Have you tried any diets? I've tried intermittent fasting and the Mediterranean diet. How did you find intermittent fasting? It was challenging to adapt to the fasting periods, but I felt more focused and less bloated. Intermittent fasting can have various health benefits. Yes, it's believed to promote cellular repair and boost metabolism. That's why it has gained popularity. What about the Mediterranean diet? I enjoy the Mediterranean diet. It's rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats. It's known for its heart-healthy properties, right? Yes, the diet is associated with a reduced risk of heart disease. Including olive oil and fish must be beneficial. Absolutely. It's a balanced and enjoyable way of eating. Have you ever considered trying a vegetarian diet? I haven't, but I know many people who are vegetarians. A vegetarian diet focuses on plant-based foods and excludes meat, right? Yes, that's correct. Some may include dairy or eggs, while others don't. It requires careful planning to get all the necessary nutrients. True, you need to ensure you're getting enough protein and vitamin B12. 
plant-based protein sources like legumes and tofu can be helpful. And fortified foods can provide vitamin B12 for those who don't eat animal products. Have you heard of the paleo diet? Yes, the paleo diet is based on the eating habits of our ancient ancestors. It emphasizes whole foods and avoids processed ones. The idea is to mimic the diet of early humans for better health. It's like going back to basics. Did you try it? I dabbled with it for a while, but I found it too restrictive for my taste. It's essential to find a diet that suits your lifestyle and preferences. Exactly. Every person is different, so there's no one-size-fits-all approach. What about the vegan diet? Have you considered that? I haven't tried it, but I admire people who commit to a vegan lifestyle. Veganism is more than a diet, it's a compassionate way of living. It involves avoiding all animal products, including dairy and eggs. Some people choose it for ethical reasons and to reduce their environmental impact. Yes, it's about caring for animals and the planet. Have you ever encountered any challenges with your diets? Yes, when I tried a strict diet, I felt deprived and missed certain foods. That's a common struggle. Moderation is crucial for sustainable habits. I've learned that balance and listening to my body are key. It's essential to have a healthy relationship with food. Agreed. How about you? Any challenges you faced with your diets? With the keto diet, I missed my favorite fruits and bread. Carbohydrates are often missed on low-carb diets. True. And with vegetarianism, I had to ensure I got enough iron and protein. Proper planning is vital for any diet to meet nutritional needs. That's true. It's essential to be well-informed. Absolutely. And consulting a healthcare professional is wise too. They can provide personalized advice based on individual health needs. That's right. So, do you follow any specific diet now? At the moment, I try to maintain a balanced and intuitive eating approach. That sounds sensible. Mindful eating is essential for overall well-being. It is. And being kind to yourself when it comes to food choices. You're right. Diets shouldn't be about strict rules but about nourishing the body. Exactly. It's about making choices that make you feel good. Have you ever tried fasting? Yes, I did a one-day fast for religious reasons. Fasting can have various purposes, right? Absolutely. Some fast for spiritual reasons while others do it for health benefits. That's true. How did you feel during the fast? At first, I felt hungry, but after a while, I got used to it. Fasting requires discipline and willpower. Yes, it's not easy, but it can be a rewarding experience. Did you notice any health benefits from fasting? I felt more energized and mentally clear after the fast. That's great to hear. Fasting can be detoxifying for the body. 
It's like giving your digestive system a break. Have you tried intermittent fasting as well? Yes, I have. It involves eating within a specific time window. It's become quite popular for weight management. It can help with weight loss and improve metabolism. I've considered trying it. Any tips for beginners? Start with a shorter fasting window and gradually increase it. That sounds reasonable. I'll give it a shot. Remember to stay hydrated during fasting periods. Hydration is crucial. Water and herbal tea should be okay, right? Yes, they are allowed during fasting. Avoid sugary drinks. Got it. What other types of fasting have you heard about? There's the water fast, where you only consume water. That one sounds more challenging. Is it safe? Water fasting can be done for short periods, but it's best to consult a doctor first. Safety first, indeed. How about juice fasting? Juice fasting involves consuming only fruit and vegetable juices. Juices can provide nutrients while giving your digestive system a rest. That's true, but be cautious of too much sugar in fruit juices. Balanced nutrition is essential, even during fasting. Exactly. And always listen to your body signals. Have you ever done a longer fast? No, I haven't. Longer fasts require careful planning and supervision. Right, they can have more significant effects on the body. Some people do prolonged fasts for health reasons. I've heard about the potential benefits, but it's not for everyone. Indeed, it's a personal choice and should be done responsibly. What do you typically eat to break a fast? It's essential to break the fast gently with light, easily digestible foods. Like soups or salads, I suppose? Yes, and you can gradually reintroduce solid foods. I'll keep that in mind. Fasting can be a spiritual experience too. Yes. Fasting is practiced in many religious traditions worldwide. It's a way to focus on inner reflection and spiritual growth. And it can strengthen one's connection to their beliefs. Fasting has a long history in various cultures. It's fascinating how traditions evolve over time. Indeed. Did you find fasting to be a mindful experience? Yes, it made me more mindful of my body and eating habits. It can help break unhealthy eating patterns. That's true. Fasting teaches you to appreciate food more too. Gratitude for what we have is essential. Do you fast regularly? Not regularly, but I incorporate it into my routine occasionally. Balance is key. Moderation in everything we do. Absolutely. Extreme fasting can be harmful. People should be well informed before trying any fasting method. 